So, it's the prototype on breadboards of uh, the power sequencer. As you can see, loader relays, and there's a PIR. Now, if I move, there you go, the relays are switched on in sequence. And I've currently got a 10 second timeout program, so after 10 seconds, there we go, oh, they all switch off and move. They switch back on again. And as long as this PIR keeps being triggered, the relays will stay on. It's only when there's currently it's 10 seconds, but it's software programmable so it'll probably be more like an hour and not that much power 400 400 milliamps so we've got so, some nice um, small module power supplies they're actually good for about 800 milliamps and that's just a self-contained and they're only about eight quid from final so they're not expensive so I've designed one of those onto the board. Yeah, so and the guts of it is that's an Atmel 80 Tiny um, microcontroller doing the software. And those are two, those are TPIX 6C595s, which are pretty much an 8-bit serial shift register, but they have um, open drain MOSFETs on the outputs instead of logic level outputs so they drive the relays directly and they've also got the reverse EMF protection diodes in them so that's quite nice and neat and then there's a 7805 there on heatsink which is just for the the 80 the 80 tiny to run from yeah, so I have a PCB designed for this. Um, and it should fit in the enclosures that we've already got. We, we've got two of those enclosures and these relays have all come out of one of them. So, yeah, so there we go. And see, that's a standard PIR. Um, but the, the little ones that we've got from spark fun should work as well i've made it so that it, it doesn't matter what um polarity the trigger signal is and it doesn't matter whether the, that wants to run off i mean that pir wants to run off 12 volts because it's a standard alarm pir but it doesn't matter whether it runs off 12 volts or 5 volts it will work exactly the same so there's something else i look forward to